That is insane. Whoever recommended this for us on Twitter, you're, you're, you're a lunatic. What is up, everybody? Your boy Pete here from the Grip Chat Podcast, and today we're going to find out which energy drink is the best in the market. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know exactly what we're talking about here with Celsius. It's been a big topic on the podcast this week. They're new to the industry and they're causing a lot of disruption, but how do they match up against everybody else? We have the likes of Rain, Rockstar Energy, Nas, Bang, Red Bull, and the ever classic Monster. So we're gonna find out today if it has what it takes to become crowned the best energy drink on the market. Now, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out when we release our full-length episodes of the Group Chat Podcast on video, other content like this, or the small clips that we release. It's important. We appreciate it. Let's get started on today's video. All right, let's get started trying out these energy drinks. I have a really good feeling. I'm going to be way too hyper after this. Uh, I already had a coffee this morning, so we're going to have to be careful. Okay, we're first starting with rain. Uh, rain, I've tried this before. I had it like one other time. Apparently it's Monster's um, rendition of a Celsius competitor. Zero sugar, only 30 grams of carb. I always find it funny that the, the, the words and the random shit they put on the tops. It has electrolytes, BCA aminos, and Cozazyme Q10. What the? Quasentine Q10. I don't know, let's try it out. Mmm. This is their peach fuzz. 300 milligrams, it's a lot of caffeine. I like that, it feels really sugary. I don't know where it's coming from. It's gotta be from all the other wild things in there. It feels a little bit thicker. That one's down there. Okay, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not thrilled with that one. Um, let's move on. For this one, I'm gonna say right now, compared to the rest, out of 10, I'm gonna give that like a six, six and a half. Okay, now we go to the Rockstar. Um, Zero carbs, zero sugar. Kind of went with the same option for each. Oh, this is a green tea extract, B vitamins, caffeine, and taurine. Wow, that is a lot of things. 240 milligrams um, of caffeine for Rockstar. That's pretty good. No flavor. Great. Love that for them. No. Oh. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Tastes very citrusy. I feel better about this one. It could just be the taste, but it's very similar to Rain. I mean, it has that like standard energy drink taste. I'm not surprised by that. Rockstar is very, it's gotta be like Rockstar, Monster, and Red Bull kind of set the standard for energy drinks. I think I'm gonna have to stick with the same rating as that. They, they tasted very similar. I wasn't blown away by either. Uh, as far as that taste you get from energy drinks, a little bit thicker. Um, I don't even know where it started. I think it really started with like Monster when they started blowing up. They kind of, what is it, taurine taste? I think I'm gonna call it taurine taste. Nas, okay, so let's talk about Nas real quick. So I had a weird stint with this in college, which was like kind of bizarre, but I used to I used to drink one of these like uh, a couple times a week, like four, maybe five times a week. It was really bad. Uh, that's what I was kind of uh, getting my energy for before coffee. Terrible for you to have that much of it. Oh my God, 51 grams of sugar. That is insane. Whoever recommended this for us on Twitter, you're, you're, you're a lunatic. What do you need that much sugar for? And only 160 milligrams of caffeine per can. Is that right? Jeepers. What was I doing? Thank God I stopped these. This is bad. With all that in mind, uh, that's going to be like a four for me. That's hard. No, I don't even know how they're still in, in the market. I mean, that's a lot of sugar. Should we go with Celsius? Let's go, let's try Celsius out. So this is the big one we've been talking about. Uh, this is big on the podcast this week, just because we started, started talking about um, their big mover on the stock market right now. They had a big boom as of late. Zero sugar, gluten-free, non-GMO. I, I love the can, it always looks good. Healthy energy, accelerates metabolism and burns body fat. I've seen none of that on these guys. This is the leg up for Celsius. No sugar, no preservative. That's huge. This is their kiwi guava flavor. This might be my favorite. Mmm, that's so good. Wow. Oh my God. Those ones. Wow, that kiwi guava. That one, that one is good. Uh, really loving that one. That's gotta be almost perfect. That's gotta be like up there with a eight and a half, nine. Maybe a 10. Um, next one is Bang. This one is their Rainbow Unicorn. That's kind of their big stick. 
Uh, I think Rain tried to do the same thing with peach fuzz in their flavors I was reading. Potent brain and body fuel. Again, this is really big in the fitness industry as well. Not intended for anybody under the age of 18. Love that they put that. So zero carbs, zero sugar. This is their rainbow candy, 300 milligrams. It's always crazy that they put creatine in here as well. So this is pretty much pre-workout. That's pretty much what this is, is a pre-workout. You don't put super creatine into an energy drink just to get your day started. Uh, super creatine, that is, that is a lot. This isn't a pre-workout, not an energy drink, so be very aware of that. Oh, oh. Ugh. That. Ooh. I don't like that taste. I should say it doesn't feel as heavy as those ones. I don't hate it. I'm gonna give that one a seven, like a seven and a half. That one's sitting number two right now. This one's the worst one. Uh, so Red Bull is the almighty classic Red Bull. Red Bull. I used to drink these all the time when I was little. This is like the first energy drink I ever had uh, at the roller rink. No, at the ice rink actually. But somebody on Twitter also suggested the tropical flavor. So let's try out the Red Bull one. Uh, this one, a lot of sugars in this as well, 39 grams. They also have a sugar-free option of the, of the regular one. I wish they would make sugar-free in these flavors. It'd be way better. A lot of carbs, 42 grams of carbs. Man, I did not know they had so many carbs and sugars in there. Really gotta read your label. That's the most important lesson to be taken from this. Uh, caffeine, only 114. Damn, that's nothing. Yeah, Red Bull is great branding, because the rest of this sucks. Why would you ever drink this? I would drink Celsius all day over this. Mm. I like that. I like that. I so like the tropical flavor. I think besides Celsius, Red Bull has the best flavors. 160 calories per can is a lot. 12 ounces. That one I'm eh about. I am going to put that one third right now because of taste. High in sugar, but taste wise, yeah. Uh, next one we've got is Monster. So. We're trying out Monster for this one. This one is zero sugar as well. Uh, Monster is a classic. Uh, I knew a frat in college that was like, you know, had, uh, I think they were just part of the ambassador program. So they had a ton of Monster. We were drinking Monster all the time. That's what, all we would drink at night. Uh, things are a lot of sugar. Jeez. Oh, ooh, this one's low too. Only 140 milligrams per can. This is on the lower end as well. Zero carbs, only three grams of uh, carbohydrates. L. Uh, carnitine, taurine, taurine, what the f is taurine? I think the worst thing that ever happened to Americans. Okay. Hmm. Nope. What is it about, what is it about Monster that just has that ugh, undescribable taste at the beginning? That is awful. I don't like that taste. It, it just, it's just what Monster is. It gives Monster the taste it is. And maybe that's why they are as big as they are, because people can become addicted to that taste. I don't even know if I love or hate that. I definitely don't love it, uh, but I don't think I... Mm. Wow, if I had to rank these, that is tough. I mean, Celsius is leading the way for a reason. Celsius by far knocks this out of the park. I mean, knocks this out of the park as far as taste, ingredients, everything else. Celsius by a long shot. I don't even know how these other guys are competing with them right now, it's just gotta be marketing and branding um, and sticking it in front of the right people. Uh, I'm not gonna put this one last just because they're so big uh, and there's zero carb or there's zero sugar in it. Because these guys are so big and there's zero sugar, I'm not gonna put them last. This is definitely last. Or no, no, NOS. NOS is definitely last. So we're going seven. This one is number six, Rain, uh, Rockstar, number five. That, the, these two were really gross. Five, uh, ooh. we're gonna go four, Monster four. Uh, we're gonna go Red Bull three. If we had had the non-sugar version, maybe they would have gone a little bit higher, but that's a great tasting one. Tastes great, but that's because of all the sugars and nasty stuff in it. Two, we're gonna go with Bang, and number one is Celsius. You can't beat the Celsius. Uh, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm gonna take this now and go drink it. That was gross. The rest of these were pretty gross. That's pretty gross. Uh, that does it for the review here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, your boy Pete here from the Group Chat Podcast. Make sure you check out Group Chat every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, wherever you listen to podcasts. If you don't already listen, uh, we cover all things sports, pop culture, news, stocks, and more. So don't miss out on that. Uh, we have the guys D on it and drama themselves, breaking it down for you week in and week out. Plus, we're on Twitch. 
head over to twitch.tv slash group chat pod. You're going to find us there. We're going live every Wednesday for Behind Closed Doors between myself and Anna talking about sports. We break down more into sports, uh, a little bit into the tech world. We also break down what we're doing currently in the stock world, plus more. You can interact with us live there. We also go live on Thursdays for When Is Losers content and now newly Sunday nights. Sunday Night Lights happening on Twitch at 8 p.m. Pacific. So don't miss out. We're bringing on cool guests all the time. You never know who's going to show up. It could be a really big star, you know, or it could just be DJ Eric Deluxe. You never know. So thank you so much. That's going to do it for us. Celsius, you took the crown as expected. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Done.